islands, highlands, cities and seaside. The scenery of Scotland can stir the soul. Roaming in the Gloman, you might be lucky enough to encounter a wild stag. Climbing Ben Lomond rewards you with views of the glacial Loch Lomond, lying at the junction of three ancient Scottish kingdoms. Scotland was united with England and Wales in 1707, yet maintains an independent national identity, easily found when you enjoy the cosy hospitality of this friendly and fiercely proud people. Scots love their music and their dancing. At some point along the way, you're bound to stumble upon a Cayley, an informal gathering where you can soak up the atmosphere through the music and conversation. In spring and summer, Highland Games capture the countryside. It's another fine way to tap into ancient Scottish traditions. If you're interested in history, many stately manor homes are open to the public. Culzine Castle and Country Park is one of Scotland's most celebrated National Trust properties. Designed by Robert Adam in the 18th century, it replaced the ruins of a 16th century castle that was fast collapsing into the Firth of Clyde. And there are plenty of modern attractions, such as the Museum of Scotland. This state-of-the-art building tells the story of Scotland from ancient times to the present day. Glasgow is known as Scotland's city of style, with boutiques, shopping arcades and art galleries, more than 30 of them, including the house for an art lover. It features the unusual drawings and furniture designs of Charles Rennie Mackintosh. The coastal town of St Andrews is home to golf, Scotland's oldest university, and the ruins of St Rule's Church. Here on Scotland's western front is where the Swedish inventor Alfred Nobel first tested and manufactured dynamite. This invention centre was built to honour Nobel, his annual laureates and inventors everywhere. We're here in Stevenston in Ayrshire, Scotland on the site where Alfred Nobel tested all his dynamite and now is the site of the big idea, the inventor centre of the future. The big idea is full of big ideas. Kids love it because they can push buttons and pull levers and generally wreak controlled havoc. Amidst all this racket, bustle and fun, there really is serious education going on here. Wrapped up in wit and ingenuity, Alfred Nobel thought that his invention of dynamite would put an end to war. Instead, it became a weapon of destruction. Overwhelmed with remorse, he established his Nobel Peace Prize to honor those who had made a contribution to world peace. One can never forget dynamite and big bangs everywhere. This is our little mini theater. It holds 26 people and it will take you from the Big Bang to space exploration in 7 minutes and 20 seconds. I know, because I timed it. From the fireworks to gunpowder to missiles and rocket launches, you'll see it all, hear it all, and feel the Earth move, or at least the seats. The big idea is all about inventions. Here you can test the Archimedes screw, a principle that helped the Egyptians build the pyramids. It still works today. The Newton's apple exhibit helps explain the laws of gravity. You can plumb the workings of Mr. Crapper's ingenious invention, which hasn't changed much in a hundred years. In fact, you can learn about dozens of inventions and inventors from ancient to modern times, and then try your hand at creating your own. In this rather noisy place, one of the loudest exhibits is the tribute to Leonardo a kinetic sculpture suspended above the main entrance. It is operated by a wooden wheel, about 16 different notches for the different operations on the sculpture today. No electronics at all, other than to light the lights. Everything is kinetically done. You be of one blood, ye and I. T.S. Eliot. 
The Magic Library showcases the Nobel Prize for Literature. To sample a book, you simply touch its cover on the screen. The book pops open, revealing a short, animated video created by students at the Glasgow School of Art. The Big Idea Invention Center blends into the sand dunes that surround it. Its broad, low dome has a grass-covered roof. To reach it, you pass over the Bridge of Scottish Invention, a retractable bridge whose 24 side panels showcase major inventors. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.